However, there are major, several major considerations which prompt me to recommend adoption of the sales tax at this session. We have seen the spread of local sales taxes <coughs> adopted locality by locality without uniformity of design or application. Should this trend continue, as I am convinced it will, the cities of Virginia soon will have preempted this field and the state's last major new source of revenue will be lost. This situation in itself fully justifies adoption of the tax at the state level and the repeal and discontinuance of local sales taxes. While we are fortunate in having a handsome surplus in the state's general fund at this time, there is no assurance that this good fortune will prevail at the close of the next biennium, nor in any future year. In fact, I have based my budget on recommendations on the most liberal estimates, and error can therefore result in a deficiency rather than a surplus. The patchwork pattern of local sales taxes offers a further disadvantage to the Commonwealth. It discourages the normal development of trading and marketing patterns and tends to bring about economic dislocations. It also makes more difficult the presentation of our industrial attractions on a statewide basis. Each of these situations supports the state's general sales tax. 